What are you getting on the uh, toys? Alright, we want them all making me an offer. Oh. They're crazy. Yeah, they're nuts. I actually was thinking about it and I'm like, but you know, shipping something like that. Oh, yeah. Um, My buddy has one of these complete in box. Yeah. It doesn't know what to do with it. Nice. I'm going to have to sell the whole bin. That's cool. I put together all those sets. Uh, I'd say the first or second one. Like the first one. Yeah. The only problem is I had a ton of that stuff that I bought one time. Yeah. It was so hard to move. Yeah. You gotta have like a great guy fly. Right, exactly. Is it Robotech? I think so. Yeah. yeah. This, this is new stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Battle beasts. Yeah, I gotta put those together. Those I had some that. Yet. Yeah, I yeah. still. There's a few that I did put together. This yeah. one's here. Mainly looking for obviously the weapons I, at this point. Yeah. So these three guys I put together already. Yeah. Yeah. Are you still? I don't know what you need. I, know I have a whole box full of adventure people stuff there yeah. too. Okay. I was planning on, you know, if you want. Aaron, is this the original? What's going on, everybody? It is uh, 6.08 on Sunday. Uh, I'm heading to the flea market, as per usual. Um, last week was terrible, I guess you could say. Uh, walked through the whole thing and I think like 15 minutes not even and only that's only because we stopped and talked to a friend uh, hey everybody uh, quick update uh, I'm heading to Grafton uh, Seekonk was closed down uh, not really sure 100% why uh, I talked to one of the people that I know there and she said that an undercover cop went in at like 4 30 5 o'clock and told him to shut it down and said stuff about like people are going to be fined if they're there because you can't have groups of more than 50. Uh, I mean with the vendors alone half the time that's you know probably pretty close to that. Uh, so I don't know if it's going to happen next week or the rest of this year. So I'll keep you updated on that one. But as far as I know Grafton's open. I tried to look up on their Facebook page. It's not updated. Uh, worst case scenario, I drive 40 minutes and it's closed and I drive back home. Because uh, at that point, I I don't know what to do. Uh, Random doesn't really open until like 8.30, 9 o'clock for the most part. And that other swap meet I went to doesn't start until 10. Uh, so I'm not sitting around for three hours to wait. So, uh, But that's it, guys. Uh, let's see if Grafton's open. American flag back over this one. Yeah, you <laughs> <laughs> I'd go five on them. Okay. There you go. What about like these guys? Huh? What about like stuff like this? Put a pile together. Alright? What are they? One in the boxes, if they call a box, whatever you, you know. Yeah, yeah. Huh? I got five of them. Okay. Yeah, thanks. There's a raw one in here. Yeah. You get all the all the pieces and bits and. Yeah. Just a ton of like busted up guys. I'll just put back the like, Oh, jail.
open it? Uh, yeah, it was What's going on, guys? So here's my retro vintage toy haul from a couple flea markets uh, like two weeks ago. So basically on a Friday afternoon, uh, myself and my wife went to a flea market in Connecticut. It was all outdoors. Uh, most people didn't wear masks. So that was fun, but there was some cool stuff. Uh, it was mainly like a car swap meet. Uh, but you know, I always go to those things cause there's always people who bring toys and they usually are cheap. Uh, I did really well on toys and video games that weekend. So here's what I grabbed there. Uh, I grabbed this armor bot off my buddy, Aaron. Uh, it's only missing one missile and the arm and, um, the top piece here that I got coming in and two antennas. I don't care about the antennas. Hopefully I can find an arm. So if anybody has an arm for this guy, definitely let me know. And I already got the headpiece coming in. So very cool piece. Glad to get it. I know it's not very expensive. It's just something I've always wanted in my GI Joe collection and he gave it to me for cheap. So definitely happy to pick that up. Also off of him, I grabbed some, uh, instructions for the battle barge. I have that. Uh, and a RoboCop candy dispenser. There's no candy, but uh, it's just, you know, RoboCop. I had to pick it up. <laughs> so I uh, grabbed these three trucks. They're obviously, you know, Toys R Us trucks. So very cool pieces. I paid five bucks for the three of them because, like I said, it was a car swap meet. So people, they're going to collect Matchbox Hot Wheels, all that kind of stuff. Um, but very happy to find those. Uh, I wasn't even really looking for them, but I stumbled across them and I was like, yeah, I'll take these. He said a couple bucks a piece. I said three for five. He said, sure. So awesome. Uh, and then, I mean, there was all other kinds of toys and stuff. I've found Power Rangers stuff. I found, um, you know, nothing super crazy. Like I didn't find any G.I. Joe stuff minus that. And my buddy uh, brought some. Basically, he was there with toys. But I found a bin at a guy's table. Had a bunch of vintage stuff in it and the first thing i saw was this guy which is the mini uh turtles technodrome um it's missing obviously a lot but overall still a cool piece to find uh it's not something you see very often um and then i had a couple star wars pieces in it and an exo squad piece the driver's in there too which is kind of cool uh they don't go for very much it's missing like all the guns that are supposed to be on it minus this thing uh but still neat piece overall uh this was actually a surprise um this is a little bent as you can tell but i think if i just put some heat to it or something and bend it it should be all right uh it's a street sharks helicopter it's missing like a hook that goes here but overall uh this is actually a very very uncommon piece borderline rare i'd say um, it's not something you ever see, even a couple street shark guys I know said they didn't actually know about it. Um, so very surprised to find something like that in this bin. Now the rest of the stuff in the bin, which is all this here, um, a couple things from Lost in Space, the newer movie, like the Jupiter, um, uh, whoops. And then there was just some bits and pieces, some Transformers parts. Um, and then this guy was kind of cool too. It's uh, a Goosebumps castle, and it has a couple pieces to it, but if this was complete, this is like a $80 piece. So, I mean, even as this sits, it's missing like a drawbridge and some other things. But even as this sits, I should be able to basically get what I paid for the bin um, and then some. So, don't pass up this type of stuff, guys. I got this whole bin with all this stuff here that I said uh, for $25. Bucks. So, I was happy to do that because this alone and that other piece and this guy are going to probably come close to tripling my money so very cool there uh now let me clear this off and show you what i got on sunday all right so moving on to sunday went to the seekong flea market to find out it was closed um there's a million reasons why you know they're getting into it but i'm not going to get into it so uh went up to grafton and got there right at seven o'clock and still missed on some crazy incredible finds uh, but i got a lot of this from the same vendor um, and i'll kind of explain that in a minute uh, first i grabbed these two this is a visionaries um sky claw missing the gun the two side wings you know quite a few pieces on it but still uh, i picked it up picked this up this jurassic park thing and a few other little 
like guns and stuff and I paid five bucks. So I was all right with that. Uh, very cool to find a visionaries piece out in the wild, um, especially the vehicles. Now, if I can only find some of the bigger stuff, more complete, it'd be even better. Uh, so moving on, walked around a little bit, didn't find much. And then I get up and I see this guy. So it's one of the, the knockoff Godzillas from the 80s. So he first grabbed my attention. And then after I saw him, I saw the ad at. And then, I, you know, it kind of went down from there. And oh my God, craziness. So I basically, there was another guy there too. And I just kind of started grabbing pieces. As you could tell, it was dirty. So this stuff was either in a barn or uh, like a shed or something that had... Uh, the outside elements get dirt all over everything. Now, the only thing that the ADA is missing is the chin guns, as always, and the top piece uh, here, which I think the other guy that was digging with me had it, but he wouldn't give it over for some reason. Um, I can't guarantee that he had it, but I'm 90% sure he did. Um, but it is what it is. So grab that. I've already cleaned this one up, and... A lot of the pieces you see on these things were in the bins, were in the piles. A few things were out of my parts bin. Nothing really, you know, not much of it. I think I added one of these wings and like one seat, something like that. Uh, but I mean, I was just grabbing stuff. I didn't even actually know some of the stuff I had for a little bit. Uh, grabbed an APC. It's missing the seat belts, but it has the steering wheel. Uh, this was a nice find. It's the Mobat, but it has... The gun on the front that's not broken this is super rare to find this piece alone they can go for like 20 to 30 bucks even more maybe i haven't really looked it up in a while uh but super happy to find it as you can see this stuff is dirty i've cleaned a few things up <laughs> but i mean just from touching it my hands were black for days even after washing um i mean this will give you an idea how dirty it is it's crazy uh, most of this stuff's been sitting in a box since I got it, but I mean to find this guy mostly complete not broken I mean one of his fins is broken, but that is what it is um, I've got pieces for this like the gun and the cover to complete it and I have the sled for underneath So that guy will be complete. Hopefully it cleans up nice, which it should it's really just dirt uh, This one was really cool find um, basically grabbed the whale shell and then i just kept finding pieces and pieces and pieces a couple things i uh like this was actually in there which non-broken veins is incredible find uh i didn't find the other one which sucks but it is what it is but i mean like i found so so much this is out of the parts bin that i had um, but i mean to have both guns yeah they're missing their tips but that's all right uh the covers um you know just so much of this was found and to have non-broken fronts was even better it's got the door down here uh, which is like a 30 dollars piece by itself very happy to find that um and then i uh, grabbed a couple of Mego figures they're missing their clothes but whatever pretty sure this is superman captain kirk dr mccoy Nah, no idea who this guy is, but he wasn't broken, so I threw him in the pile. And then we have uh, Face from the A-Team. I think somebody colored his eyes, because I'm pretty sure that's not right. Um, but, you know, that's not even the end of it. So, come over here. Uh, like I said, bin full of parts. I just kept grabbing whatever I could grab. Some more Star Wars stuff. Uh, there's actually a He-Man vehicle down there. Um, all kinds of parts there's to the slave one so i mean that was cool there's there's more parts here uh this is a lot of the gi joe stuff that i already cleaned off um you know a couple of, like i said a couple of he-man pieces uh it i was just like just grabbing and grabbing and grabbing this is kind of cool too um I can open it up. Like I said, I cleaned a lot of this stuff up. So these are some of the figures and figure parts that I found. Some other guy had most of the figures, um, but like I said, I was like the probably the fourth or fifth person to get there and still got all this stuff. Um, uh, original Autobot pre-rub. Uh, yeah, it's the pre-rub. Uh, I can't think of his name all of a sudden. Uh, Ratchet. Yeah, pretty sure that's right. Um, Gobot. Now, this stuff was mixed in with, like, all his Hot Wheels and stuff, too. So, uh, there's some other Transformers down there and GoBots. Not sure what this Robin piece is, but I grabbed it. Thought it was kind of cool. Cleaned him up. 
uh, tons of Joe, Joes and parts and pieces, and um, this guy was cool too. Do, do, do. Little mini Godzilla, he's going in the collection, he's a rubber Godzilla from 78. So that was awesome. Um, not sure who this wrestler is, but he was one of the thumb wrestlers. Uh, Spider-Man, who does the pinchy thing. Uh, and then a bunch of adventure people. So that was that was the crazy find. Uh, I couldn't believe all that was there. Um, and I think there's still even a couple more. Yeah, there's a couple more things I didn't show. I'll show you in a second. Um, but I was dumbfounded and I dug for probably about 45 minutes and got all this stuff. Um, like I said, a lot of it still needs to be cleaned. Some of it is clean, but it is what it is. Uh, after that, went over to Raynham and grabbed a couple things. Grabbed this off my buddy Brandon for 10 bucks. It was sealed, but my dumbass put it somewhere that it got crushed and broke the seal. It's fine. I don't know what it's worth, but it was just going to my Godzilla collection anyway. So I'm going to try to... See if I can get that steel seal to stay down. Um, and then the last two things I picked up, I'll show you. And then grab these uh, Pacific Rim figures. This has been opened, um, and he's missing uh, one of the cones up there. But whatever, I'm going to open them, put them on the, my shelf with like my Godzilla stuff. Uh, but this guy and this one. His leg popped off, but it's here. Um, I just got to try to pop it back on, get to add a little heat to it. Uh, these are the NECA Pacific Rim figures. Uh, super crazy, awesome figures. The kaijus are just great. Um, this one, actually, if the box was mint, uh, has like the plastic over it and his leg wasn't popped off, um, can go up to like 150 bucks in the box. Loose, these guys can go up to 70 so, you know, I haven't decided if I'm going to keep him or not. Um, I asked him what he wanted. He knew what he had. He just said he didn't really care. Uh, five bucks a piece. So I'm not into these guys for pretty much anything. Um, and they, you know, they just look cool as monster with the monster collection. So, all right, guys, sorry. Uh, I'm adding this in afterwards. <laughs> I almost forgot about this part. Um, so I was digging through, obviously, the bins, and I found this tin box closed. So I opened up the box, and um, full of weapons. And, I mean, original Transformers stuff and G.I. Joe stuff, it was it was crazy. And, I mean, I just stuck it with my stuff right away. Um, almost a complete Devastator um, connector pieces. Uh, I didn't really find any more of the, the Transformers themselves, but Optimus Prime Fist, some uh, missiles. Um, this was a real cool piece to get unbroken. It is uh, Panthro's Nunchucks, and I just sold my last one. Uh, some other G.I. Joe pieces, uh, but, you know, like Spirit stuff. Um, Mini E.T., some He-Man stuff, like Motu. And then this one which I was super glad about because I thought I picked this up a couple weeks ago and ended up being, I was wrong. Um, it's, this is the Han that goes in the slave one. This is the one for the original slave one that I needed. So now I have a complete slave one. Super, super, super happy. You can tell if you put them side by side that the coloring is different. Um, this one's more of like a black, like a, yeah. And then the other one's more of like a, uh, a gray so and the numbers on the inside are different as well so that completes my slave one uh but that's it guys i i didn't want you guys not to see this so let's go back to the video pop back over here so that's it guys that's everything i grabbed over the course of like three days uh crazy awesome finds uh my second tomahawk but a lot of this stuff is going to be for sale because i already have a whale i already got most of this stuff um you know the migo is going to be for sale um like i said i don't know about the kaijus uh but like that ad at will be for sale stuff like that so if you guys are interested let me know um i'm gonna hopefully clean more of this stuff up this week maybe i'll clean up some of it tonight again while like zoning out on tv uh, but that's everything guys. So if you like what you saw, definitely check out my other videos. This, this stuff comes in waves and it's, and it's awesome. Uh, the vintage toys are, I just love finding it. It's so much fun. 
So definitely check me out on Instagram and Facebook. If you haven't already follow me there, you'll see all this stuff. Like I got this stuff like two or three weeks ago. You'll see it when I get it. So definitely go check it out. Uh, smash that like button. Comment in the video. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Uh, do you think I missed anything? Uh, you know what? Let me know. So I really appreciate it, guys. We're at just about 7,000 subscribers. Maybe by the time you see this, we'll be over 7,000. I was hoping for 8,000 by the end of the year. But, you know, it is what it is. And, uh, you know, I just like seeing the numbers go up and see more people enjoy my channel. So I appreciate it, guys. I will catch you on the flip side. Bye-bye.